Have you ever plugged in your phone at 10%, walked away for a few minutes, and come back shocked to see it already halfway charged? It almost feels like magic. Not long ago, charging a phone meant leaving it plugged in overnight and hoping for the best. Today, we're talking about how fast chargers work, as if speed itself has become a feature. Right here on History of Simple Things. To understand fast charging, we first need to talk about how charging works in general. Every rechargeable device has a battery, and most modern gadgets use lithium-ion batteries. These batteries store energy by moving lithium ions between two sides inside the battery. When you charge your phone, you're pushing energy into that system, essentially refilling it. The speed of charging depends on how much power you can safely push in without damaging the battery or creating too much heat. Power in simple terms comes from two things, voltage and current. Voltage is like pressure and current is like flow. Multiply them together and you get power, measured in watts. Traditional chargers delivered relatively low power, which meant charging was slow but safe. Fast charging works by increasing either the voltage, the current, or both while carefully managing the risks that come with higher power. In the early days, phone chargers were simple. They provided a fixed amount of power and that was it. The phone took what it could. Fast charging changed this relationship. Instead of the charger forcing power into the phone, the charger and the device now communicate with each other. Before fast charging even begins, your phone and the charger have a brief digital conversation, agreeing on how much power can be delivered safely. This communication is crucial. Your phone knows its battery temperature, charge level, and internal limits. If everything checks out, it asks the charger for more power. If something isn't right, like the battery getting too warm, the phone can immediately slow things down. This constant back and forth is what allows fast charging to be both quick and relatively safe. One interesting thing about fast charging is that it's not fast all the time. If you've ever watched your battery percentage closely, you might notice it jumps quickly from 10% to 50%, but then slows down as it approaches 100%. This is completely intentional. Batteries charge fastest when they're low. As they fill up, pushing energy in becomes harder and riskier. So fast charging is designed to deliver high power early on, then gradually taper off to protect the battery. Heat is the biggest enemy here. When you push more power into a battery, heat is generated. Too much heat can degrade the battery over time, reducing its capacity and lifespan. That's why fast charging systems focus so heavily on thermal management. Phones have temperature sensors, charging chips, and software algorithms that constantly monitor heat levels. If things get too hot, charging slows down automatically, even if that means sacrificing speed. Different fast charging standards approach this challenge in different ways. Some increase voltage while keeping current relatively low, reducing heat in the cable. Others keep voltage lower and increase current, which can charge faster but requires thicker cables and better cooling. You might notice that certain fast chargers only work at full speed with specific cables. That's because not all cables are built to handle high current safely. Another clever trick used in fast charging is splitting the workload. Some modern phones use dual cell batteries or multiple charging paths inside the device. Instead of sending all the power into one battery cell, the phone divides it between two smaller cells. This reduces stress and heat on each cell, allowing faster overall charging without overheating. It's like pouring water into two glasses at once 
instead of trying to fill one as quickly as possible. Fast charging isn't just about the phone. It also depends heavily on the charger itself. Modern fast chargers are much smarter than older ones. They adjust power output dynamically, respond instantly to changes requested by the device, and shut down if something goes wrong. Many even monitor their own temperature. This is why cheap or poorly made chargers can be dangerous. They may not have the same safety mechanisms in place. You've probably noticed that fast charging works best when your phone screen is off. That's because using your phone while charging creates extra heat. Watching videos, playing games, or using GPS all generate warmth inside the device. When combined with fast charging, this can push temperatures too high, causing the system to slow down charging automatically. So if you really need a quick boost, letting your phone rest can make a noticeable difference. There's also a common concern about whether fast charging damages batteries. The short answer is, it can, but modern systems are designed to minimize that damage. Any charging, fast or slow, causes wear over time. Fast charging simply concentrates more stress into shorter periods. Manufacturers balance this by limiting fast charging to safe ranges and relying on software to control long-term battery health. That's also why many phones include features like optimized charging. These systems learn your daily routine and slow down charging overnight, finishing just before you wake up. This reduces the amount of time your battery spends sitting at 100%, which is one of the most stressful states for lithium-ion batteries. Fast charging is still there when you need it, but it's used more intelligently. Another thing worth mentioning is that not all fast charging is the same. Different brands use different standards, and the advertised wattage doesn't always tell the full story. A higher watt charger doesn't automatically mean faster charging if your phone doesn't support it. The phone will only draw as much power as it's designed to handle. This is why understanding compatibility matters more than just buying the biggest charger available. In the end, fast charging isn't magic. It's a carefully controlled balance of power, communication, and safety. Every time you plug in your phone and watch the percentage climb faster than you expect, you're seeing a mix of physics, engineering, and software working together in real time. It's one of those modern conveniences we've quickly grown used to. But once you understand how it works, it's even more impressive. So the next time your phone charges up in the time it takes to make a cup of coffee, you'll know there's a lot more happening than just electricity flowing through a cable. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.